Today we're going to talk about the three most common pitfalls of investing on Collective 2, so stay tuned. Before we start, let me remind you that all the results you see on the Collective 2 website and this video are hypothetical. You can read more about why we say this and what that word means on this page, collective2.com slash hypothetical results. In this video, you're going to see charts and numbers that generally portray good trading results, although not always. But keep in mind that in many such cases, such trades were not placed in live accounts. And in those cases where live trading did occur, the results shown here are a mathematical average of multiple live trading accounts. So there's no single account that exactly matches any of the results. Finally, remember that trading is risky. Although this video may show you hypothetical results that are profitable, it is also possible to lose money. There is no guarantee of success, in fact most people who trade lose money. Collective 2 and or trading in general are not right for everyone, so be careful to weigh the real risks before you decide on using a service like Collective 2. Use good judgment and never trade with money you can't afford to lose. Perhaps the most common mistake I see investors make is they'll tend to filter the strategies available to them in order of highest overall return. And don't get me wrong, a high amount of returns in a short period of time is very exciting and it is a possibility. However, in order to achieve these kinds of returns, managers tend to use very high risk, high volatility strategies in order to achieve that result. So what I would do is I would be very careful when I see a strategy that has a, a very high return in a short period of time, I would pay very close attention to what kind of drawdown did this strategy have? How long has this strategy been around? What is the maximum leverage that's used by that strategy? So on and so forth. And if you're someone who has sufficient funds to have more than one Collective 2 strategy, perhaps you could consider putting or allocating a smaller amount of your total funds to the more aggressive strategies. Another mistake I see investors doing is not considering many of the valuable metrics available for all Collective 2 strategies. Investors tend to focus on a few key metrics such as overall return, the age of the strategy, and perhaps the max drawdown. But Collective 2 has several valuable metrics and we're actually going to pull up some of those right now and show you a tool that's super convenient to use. And I have, I have covered this in a previous video, but we're going to go to Find Strategy and then we're going to go to something called The Grid. So something we can actually do here is filter by several of our favorite metrics. For example, when I search for strategies, I want the strategies to be around for at least a year, so I'm going to put 365 days in the strategies age. The next filter allows us to choose how correlated to the S&P 500 we want our strategy to be. Next on the list is I'd like to have the strategy to have a profit factor of at least two, in other words, two units of profit per one unit of risk. And if you're ever unsure about what these different filters or what these different variables mean, just hover over them and it'll it'll pop up. It'll say, for example, profit factor. This performance metric relates the amount of profit per unit of risk with values greater than one indicating a profitable system. Another variable I like to filter on is the Certino ratio and I like this to be at least 1.5. And as you can see, this tool will filter the strategies in real time. And lastly, I want our strategy to have a drawdown of no more than 25%, so we're going to put that. And as you can see, we have about three pages of results, so let's make this even more stringent. Let's do a profit factor of at least 3 and a Certino ratio of at least 2.5. And let's do a drawdown of less than 20%. So there we go. Uh, this returns only seven strategies. Not to say that these are definitely the best strategies, but based on my based on my inputs, these are extremely competitive strategies, or at least they have been within the duration of time that they have been around. All right, so the third most common pitfall I see investors making on Collective 2 is they are simply not giving the strategies they are following 
enough time. A lot of investors will switch strategies as soon as their strategy experiences a drawdown or a period of subpar performance. The truth is investing takes time and patience and in order to illustrate this I'm going to simply pull up one of these seven strategies that have performed extremely well in, in their past. So I'm going to pull up this one as an example. So this strategy is a little bit over one year old. And as you can see, it has experienced several periods of drawdown and or periods where the strategy broke even. And many investors are going to get out of the strategy when they see this kind of you know, one to three month period of drawdown or break even point. I mean, as you can see from September of 2021 to November of 2021, that's a two month, roughly two month period of a break even stretch. And there's another one here from February 2021 to about April of 2021, where the strategy basically had a drawdown and then at the end of it, it was just break even. Now, obviously there's no guarantee that a strategy will break even or get out of a drawdown or even continue to make gains into the future. But if you're constantly switching strategies, it's gonna be very difficult to realize gains in the long run. So that's gonna do it for today's video. If you've enjoyed this content, make sure you leave a like or comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.